Well, as you can see, I've got the floor of the shed tidied at least. Um, but that's not the subject of this video. The subject of this video is these bridge rectifiers. This is now two of them that's failed. Um, this one failed, well, I think because I wired up something wrong. Um, I think it's because I connected a discharge capacitor to it while I had a generator running. And I connected the capacitor around the wrong way and it had charge in it, so I destroyed the output, so that was my fault. This one here, I had this connected up. Um, this is a dual stator motor, so I'm using one of the windings as a generator. And I had it connected up to a 72 volt battery, and I was just driving one of the stators. Um, and on the output, I had one of these bridge rectifiers. Now, these are rated 50 amps, 1000 volts. Now, I've got the evidence here that it actually failed. Um, when I was doing a test ramping up the power, it failed it. Let's see. 17.9 amps that's what I failed at 17.9 so that rating is wrong so I suggest avoiding these bridge rectifiers like the like the plague because they're just not very good quality so now that means for my generator project I'm going to have to buy better quality bridge rectifiers because these ones are just obviously not up to it. Um, they've obviously just maybe got 20 amp diodes in them, probably less. That was me doing it with a with the other one that still works, and the thing is though this time I was running it at a lower voltage, um, the thirty seven volts, two batteries in parallel rather than series, and uh, let's see, I got twenty two point four amps peak there, and it never really when nine failed. Rectifier is quite warm, but this one here is shot, so I'll try and get a refund just for one rather than both of them. So I must have just been a dud. I don't know.